home. Yeah. So, well, this has a definite potential. Well, it already is, you know, bastardised in so many ways, in so what? many aspects. I mean, yeah, everyone says, you know, sovere- sovereignty. So- sovereignty. Beautiful. Like Beautiful. Uh, so, uh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to hold it was there. Um, using the word sovereignty to um, just appeal to their own agenda and not in, like, their truth but in whatever else is going on. And so that's definitely been bastardised in so many ways, just like enlightenment, just like spirituality and all those other buzzwords. Um, Well, that's it. They start off with something trying to describe something and then they become buzzwords. You know what I mean? And oh, the yeah. buzzwords are fine until dickheads get a hold of it and that loses the potency. <sighs> it's like throwing around the word goddess. It's the oh, same deal. Yeah, the it's like, the goddess. want a fucking bath already? Jeez, that has been so <laughs> different kind. Right on. Um, and I love the word. I do. It's just oh. when I hear it being thrown around in the ways, in a lot of ways, it's Here's a little bit like love. Beloved. <laughs> Oh, now that's a hot mess of a word, I tell you. Okay, so let's just load. What's another good word? What's another hot topic? Another um, good one. Oh, 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 um, oh, there's so many. I know, right? Uh, it's like where does one narrow it down? Where does one begin? Um, even the word consciousness. Oh, like look, look at least con- that's holding something. I was thinking of the word yeah. shaman. Shaman? Well, what a true oh, shaman yeah. goes through that is born into and trained with. And then I see the fucker down here advertising in the, you know, the local pub. Oh, shaman! It's like they've done a weekend workshop with a bloody fucking, you know. I mean, please. <laughs> the most insulting thing to the true shaman. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, that's another one, shaman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's quite beloved. That one makes me kind of go, <laughs> right, I and it shouldn't. Huh? It's like oh. no, it's, and it shouldn't. It, it should hold yeah. some some kind of mysticism that it's it's intended to. It should hold the honor of office of attainment that that is. And so when the word shaman is uttered, it's with respect. And when someone names themselves a shaman, or when someone is referring to a shaman, that better fucking hold that vibration. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Absolutely. Well, it's like that, even to get even to, even more sort of into the 3D, the, you know, those big feather headdresses that the chiefs wear? Oh, yeah. You know, that, um, it's a huge kind of controversy has been for a little while now that, you know, kids would wear it to big music festivals and things. And there was a huge fuss being kicked around wearing this headdress because it's such a sacred, um, oh. it's like a, a, it's one that is earned and it is like oh, yeah. out of true deep yeah. respect. And so, um, yeah, they kicked up a fuss and now it's illegal to wear it. Good. Or it's very much frowned upon to wear it. It's the same sort of thing, something that has held a lot of esteem, a lot of respect. Oh, deja vu. Deep open times. Oh, sexy. Yeah, <laughs> completely. Yeah. I've been having so much deja vu up the yin yang. Oh, I had deja vu the other day and immediately it came in like that whole, oh, it's just me being in essence. And it really felt that way. Now that the awareness is there, it's like... I'm getting that little, just again, little light bulbs of knowing. It's nice. It's because then, you know, being told, oh, it's because you've experienced the moment before. Well, it's a familiarity. No, it's all working at the same time. No, familiarity is you connecting with essence. That's who you really are. You're right in the flow. Inadvertently, you didn't know you were doing it. Boom, boom, there you are. Yeah. And then, of course, you put your attention. Yeah, delish. (laughs) Out again. (laughs) But, you know, it's just word like things like that, you, oh, it feels like that, you know, those concepts get carried down and then people just take it for granted. They don't explore it for themselves. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, oh, that was what it was. That, that means this or that means that. Oh, it's, it's just taking a concept. <laughs> it's basically running with a concept and taking it for granted rather than actually going into it and really feeling the truth of it for yourself that and really exploring sense. what that means to you. The same with like, you know, it's like with anything within energetic healing, like even when you're learning about chakras, a lot of people go, oh, the red correlates with the base and it means this and that without actually going into it and feeling what it is. You know, it's the same fucking deal. I don't know how I feel about all that. Oh, I do. I can see. My classic was, you know, because I had the thyroid problem, people were like, 
What aren't you saying? I said, do you think there's something I'm not saying? Really? <laughs> I mean, my problem is all in, you know, like I just found it very trite as to what these things were and are. And now when you open the scope and you actually feel into it, use your fucking senses for what they are for to feel into it and you will start to see, oh, 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 no, this is a whole different ball game. Mm-hmm. You know, thank God for finding the kill shot. So, mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But if you didn't know about that, would you look for it? No. I guess no, no. Would you? Why would you? Not at all. That'll be the next thing. Kill shot. That'll be the fad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sovereignty to kill. announced kill shot. Dude, I'd, hey, why the fuck not? <laughs> uh, you know what? So That's the one thing that I'm. Um, that I find now that um, I'm working more with essence and I'm responding more to <laughs> I love it. Good almighty. Smoke everywhere. Bushfire regeneration, yes. Um, that I'm working more with essence and that I'm feeling out my own emotional landscape of how things work and well, love trying that emotional to. Emotional landscape. Ooh, that's a fucking sick. Like, yeah. I like it. Because that's what it feels like. It, it's like I'm moving through. Yeah whatever it is, oh. and I'm stumbling upon things that I just, my brain doesn't, my mind doesn't recognise as words yet, and it's so interesting when these words do come up, how that feeling comes back to connect and go, oh, that could have been that, rather than, it comes from a real organic place, oh, I, is what yeah, I'm yeah. saying, rather than kind of going from here and looking for it. It's See, sort of an interesting thing. You're finding thing. your own answers. You're finding your mm. own reality. You're finding your own truth. And in finding your own truth, you stay true in that truth. You don't say, yeah. oh, well, I'll just adopt it for when I want to be spiritual. You know, it's a fucking... It's yeah. all- and this is, you know, when we went, because our first thing was what, sovereignty? Well, to mm-hmm. me, embracing it and fucking embodying it and tick, tick, hot, hot. We'll get you as the poster <laughs> calendar of Teresa. Sovereignty, on- <laughs> sovereignty in January. Sovereignty in February. <laughs> in March. <laughs> Oh my I love God, it. Do I need the noise? Okay. Sovereignty. There you mm. go. There you go. So what did that thing